Hello board game brothers and sisters and welcome to another video where I'll be letting you know of Kickstarter's launching this week. And the first thing I wanted to mention is that we're really close to hitting a thousand subscribers. This has been a goal of mine since I started the channel and I really wasn't expecting to hit this for at least a year. And here we are about half that time. Thanks so much for everyone who subscribed to the channel, left a comment and liked the videos because it really helps the channel grow. And although these videos are quite a lot of work for me to produce, I also have quite a lot of fun making them. It's been a lot of fun watching this community grow and watching the channel grow and also just being able to give something back to the board game community that is providing value. I'm super excited to see where this channel goes next and for any of you that have been watching since I started you would have noticed a huge jump in quality since my first videos. Improving this channel has always been a high priority to me and I'm never going to stop trying to improve the content that I deliver here and I do think that hitting a thousand subscribers is going to open up a whole new door of opportunities for us. I've really wanted to put out an opinion piece since I started this channel but opinion pieces don't exactly have the most searchable titles so I've been holding off on that until I get my subscriber count up but I think hitting a thousand thousand subscribers is a great time to try one of those and see what you guys think. I've been working on a new series and I'll have a video up for that soon and if you like controversy this is definitely something that you'll want to look forward to and it's just one more reason to subscribe so that you don't miss out on it. I'm really excited to see what you think. And one thing a lot of you may not know about me is that I actually do a lot of game design as well. And I was actually doing game design long before I started this YouTube channel. And I do a lot of playtesting and I get my games into as many contests as possible because the feedback from different contests is really valuable. And occasionally these contests require me to make an overviews video or a how to play video. And I just posted one on the channel recently, but I turned off YouTube notifications because it's so much different than my usual content. And I didn't want to spam all you guys with videos that you may not have been interested in. But I thought I'd mention it now for those of you that are interested to see a game that I've been working on. So I'll leave a link to it up here if you're interested. And I definitely welcome any feedback and I appreciate you checking it out. And the next thing we need to do is announce a winner for last week's contest. And I've been running giveaways for the past couple weeks here. And this is something that I'm hoping we can continue to do every week, but it's really gonna depend on the different opportunities that come up. These giveaways are for pledges donated from publishers and they're not getting anything extra from me other than mentioning them during the giveaway. So really show them some love and check out their campaigns because it's really cool of them to be donating and giving back to the community. And last week's giveaway was for a Kickstarter Gold Edition of Vinyl, and this came with all the standard stretch goals, the gold stretch goals, and a Kickstarter exclusive swing genre. It also comes with a top shelf expansion. And this was donated by Talent Strike Games, and they actually have a Kickstarter on now for the Big Band expansion, so definitely check that out if this interests you. And all you had to do to enter this contest was leave a comment on my last week's video with the hashtag Vinyl, and let us know of a song pre-90s that you like to listen to that helps you get pumped up. So I'm gonna be using this application here to draw a random winner from the comments. I also have a few extra entries for the different pledge levels for my patrons so definitely check out my patreon if you want to support the channel because it's the best way to do that and this is just one way that I want to give back and show my appreciation. So let's go ahead and grab those comments and see who the winner is. And the winner is Michael Mueller. And his comment was, so many to choose from, but I'll go with the classic Iron Maiden, Run to the Hills. Iron Maiden's an awesome choice, and it's definitely one of my top classic metal bands. It's really awesome to see that my viewers have some great taste in music. If you didn't win this week, don't feel bad, because I do have another contest to announce, and this one's for With a Smile and a Gun. And this is actively on Kickstarter now, and this is going to be for the Smile and a Gun physical game pledge that also comes with all stretch goals. And this is a two-player game that takes place in the Prohibition era, and each player is going to be acting as a criminal gang leader that's trying to take control of the city's underground businesses. A couple neat things about this game is that you actually draw a shadow card at the start of the game, which brings in a special character that affects the rules of the entire game, so it makes each game a little different. There's also a infusion card that gets drawn at the start of the game that grants players different powers that are different across different games. This game takes place over three rounds, and each round players are going to be drafting from a shared pool of dice, and each die is going to let a player make one movement and one action. But you're going to have to be careful in your actions because not only are you competing against your opponent, but you also have the police to deal with. This is a game that Rado really loved and he put out a great how to play video and I'll leave a link to that up here if you want to check it out. And all you have to do to enter this contest is leave a comment down below with the hashtag booze and let me know of a nice drink that you like to enjoy responsibly on special occasions. For me it's definitely an old fashioned, it's easy to make, tastes great, and makes me look a little more intellectual than I actually am. 
Best of luck in the contest and make sure to congratulate Michael for winning himself a Kickstarter version of vinyl. And Michael, make sure to send me an email at adam at and we'll get that all sorted out for you. With that said, let's check out the Kickstarters. And the first game I have for you launches on August 10th and it's called Nova Lux and it plays one to six players and takes about 45 to 90 minutes to play. In a Nova Lux, players take charge of a federation of orphaned alien species. And you're gonna be trying to escape a dying star system in the wake of a galactic apocalypse. Players are going to manage resources through trade, conflict, and exploration that's going to support life on their ship as they go out and build their very own star colony. This game incorporates a modular board, area movement, resource management, engine building, card drafting, and also includes some off-turn action choices to keep you engaged even when it's not your turn. And the next campaign launches on August 11th, and this one's actually an expansion. It's called Western Legends Blood Money. And this is an expansion to the game Western Legends that has a really nice rating on BGG at a 7.7. .7. And this expansion was designed by the same designer that created Western Legends, and it adds a few different modules that you can add to your game. And the first module is the risk module, and this uses a die to improve different actions, but also comes at a cost because it's gonna increase your risk of injury. And then there's the legendary story module that incorporates a story track and high reward adventures for players to pursue. This expansion also allows players to purchase deeds to locations and legendary items from a traveling trader. And finally, this comes with a lot of extra content that you can just throw into your game because it comes with a bunch of new characters and items to explore. And the next game also releases on the 11th and it's called Duels of Cartazora. And this plays two players and takes about five to 10 minutes to play. And this is released by Analog Game Studios that also release games like Gnomes at Midnight and King of Indecision. So this is a really quick game that plays around in about five minutes and you can play as many rounds as you want. And in this game, each player is a weapon brandishing warrior trying to come out on top and defeat their opponent. This game incorporates hand management, rock, paper, scissors mechanics, and simultaneous action selection. Each warrior is asymmetrical from the other and they each have their own deck and there's six warriors to choose from. If you want a quick travel game, this might be one for you. The next campaign I have for you also launches on the 11th and it's the Wormwood Modular Gaming Table. And this is gonna cover coffee and dining models and if you're not familiar with Wormwood they actually make some really nice gaming tables. I don't own a gaming table because they're really expensive but this campaign is supposed to be offering some tables as low as $300 so I'll definitely be taking a look at this. Wormwood does a really good job with their tables. They look amazing and there's a lot of engineering that goes into these tables and they get pretty clever with the different hidden compartments, extra accessories and some of these tables even have a crank in the side where you can adjust the height of the table to tailor it to your different needs. And the next game I have for you also launches on the 11th and it's called Zero Leader and this plays one of six players. It takes about 45 to 120 minutes to play. And Zero Leader is based on the Corsair Leader game which is released by the same publisher. And this game actually got a 7.6 on BGG which is really impressive and I checked the ratings tab and there's quite a lot of votes on this so this is actually from a large subset of players. So I think if you like that game, you'll definitely want to check this one out. And this game makes some significant changes and it's going to focus on commanding a Japanese aerial squadron in the Pacific in World War II. You're going to be commanding over several different types of aircraft, some that are really maneuverable but with limited firing capabilities, and some that are very powerful but not very maneuverable. This game also includes aspects of Japanese operations such as mechanical and maintenance challenges, invoking samurai spirit, as well as the ability to deploy deadly kamikaze aircraft bombs. There's also an air combat system that gives you more tactical options when dogfighting with the enemy aircrafts. And if you didn't notice on the player count, this does support solitaire play. And the last campaign I have for you launches on the 12th and it's called Glenmore 2 Highland Games. And there's not a whole lot of info released on this one, but this is going to add a solo mode. So if you like Glenmore 2 and you want to play it solo, this will definitely be interesting to you. And also adds three new chronicles into the game for you to play. I did a little bit of research and it looks like you will be able to pledge for the core game and the previous expansion as well. I'm guessing that those will also come with previous exclusives, but don't quote me on that. And that's all I have for you this week. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you found this content useful. And also don't forget to enter the contest by leaving a comment in the comment section below. I'll be posting my first video soon of a fun new series that you definitely don't want to miss out on. So make sure to hit that bell icon to get notifications. And until next time, keep that shelf cluttered and the table full.